In a stunning development in the Central African nation of Gabon, army officers appeared on national television just hours back to say that they have taken power. They said they were annulling the results of Saturday's election in which President Ali Bongo was declared the winner. This bloodless coup has been declared by a group of senior Gabonese military officers who have declared that they have seized power, claiming that the recent general election lacks credibility and saying that they represent all of Gabon's security and defense forces. They also said the election results were cancelled, all borders closed until further notice and state institutions were being dissolved. In the name of the Gabonese people, we have decided to defend the peace by putting an end to the current regime, the officers said on live television. The group have declared themselves members of the Committee of Transition and the Restoration of Institutions. The state institutions they declared dissolved includes the government, the Senate, the National Assembly, the Constitutional Court and the election body. Gabon's incumbent president, Ali Bongo, had just won a third term in the presidential election with 64.27% of the vote yesterday after a delay-plagued general election that the opposition denounced as fraudulent. Tensions were already running high amid fears of unrest after Saturday's presidential, parliamentary and legislative vote which saw Bongo seeking to extend his family's 56-year grip on power while the opposition pushed for change in the oil and coca-rich but poverty-stricken nation. In 2016, the parliament building was torched when a violent street protest had erupted against Bongo's contested re-election for his second term. The government has shut down internet access for several days at that time. This current coup in Gabon, if successful, would represent the 8th in West and Central Africa since 2020. Coups in Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Chad and Niger have all undermined democratic progress. In July, the military had snatched power in Niger, sending shockwaves across the Sahel and sucking in global powers with strategic interests at stake.